You know, our goal is to continue to evolve as a, a media channel for people trying to reach that audience. Mm -hmm. And we think we've done a really great job of understanding how to talk to them and understanding how to program for them. Once upon a time, there was something called MTV. Now Keith Richmond thinks it's time for another video revolution. While YouTube has soared in popularity, his break.com isn't doing so bad either. It logs 16 million unique users a month and has been described as an online cross between Comedy Central and Maxim Magazine. Keith Richmond, welcome to Dog and Pony. Thank you for having me. So Thanks. first we're going to do a segment called Once Around the Track. Got it. I'm going to ask you a series of questions. We'll, we'll do as many as we can in 30 seconds. Got it. Ready? So where were you born? Chicago. What was your first job? I uh, worked at Disney uh, in corporate planning. Wow. Good first job. Yeah. How long did that last? About a year. <laughs> Who's your business hero? Uh, Warren Buffett. Where'd you go to college? Stanford. What was your degree? International policy. What's your biggest challenge? How to find good people. Are you obsessive or a procrastinator? I'm obsessive. Well, that's it. You've been once around the track. So what is Break.com? So Break is one of the largest entertain entertainment destinations for men 15 to 35. We offer uh, funny videos, pictures, jokes, games. Uh, all aimed at a uh, specific demographic. And what we try to do is we try to you know, provide an entertaining mix of content um, similar to Comedy Central Spike uh, Maxim. And we try to be the most entertaining place for someone in our demographic to enjoy video content. Yeah, yeah, so tell me more about that. What really sets you apart? I mean, it's a pretty simple thing. When we started out, we really looked at what other people were doing online and found that there was no voice that spoke to, uh, to us. And uh, to guys who you know, might be 30 but felt like they were 18 and <laughs> wanted to live that again. And so we wanted to... For the privacy of their, their yeah, own home. Exactly. Right? exactly. Yeah. And, and really, you know, to, to the 15 or 18 year old boy in all of us. Uh, yeah. So we tried to go out and create a, a voice that would really appeal to people uh, and find content that was really targeted to that voice. And we, we always try to stay true to that voice and that vision. Why wouldn't people just watch this stuff on YouTube? Fundamentally, our, our belief is if you look at the history of entertainment, with the exception of maybe NBC, CBS, uh, and some and the other big networks, uh -huh. things tend to get very demographically focused very quickly. And one of the best parts about the internet is you can get even more demographically focused. Yep. Um, and so you see, Maxim Magazine is very popular. You see, Comedy Central targets guys. Um, cable really was the first media and television outlet that allowed you to become more niche. Uh, and internet is just a natural progression of that. Um, so. If you're in the demographic and you go to YouTube, who knows what you might see on the homepage? Who knows what might be the most viewed video? It could be uh, a clip from The View. It could be yeah. uh, something from Japanese anime. Um, yeah. But when you go to break, you pretty much know what you're getting. You're getting a very specific type of content uh, targeting a very specific type of individual. So instead of having to search for it, boom, it's right there in Correct. front of you. Break is much more oriented around programming uh, than it is around search. People come to us to see uh, what clips the audience uh, of, of like-minded people and their peers uh, have elected to see on the homepage. So how much do you pay users now for content? So it, it's, it's all over the board. We, we kind of think of ourselves just as, as a channel. Mm -hmm. And like any channel, we want to offer the best content. And content comes at all sorts of different prices and arrangements, especially nowadays. Yeah. So for the average clip from a user, we originally started started offering $50, um, and now we pay as high as $2,000 for just your average America's Funniest Home Videos meets Jackass kind of, <laughs> kind of clip. Um, if you are a semi-professional content creator, you're a studio, or you're um, trying to be a, a semi-professional content creator or studio, uh, we might offer a revenue share opportunity uh, with you. Or if you've got a, a good enough idea and you come and pitch us, we might just fund it outright. Lionsgate mm -hmm. is, is an investor, yep. right? They, they've given you some money, and you also have a deal with Endemol as well. Uh -huh. right? on, the, on the original content side, we actually have a bunch of deals mm -hmm. um, with, with studio-like entities. We did one with Endemol. Uh -huh. um, we did one with NBC Universal mm -hmm. to create a series for us. Um, we did one with a company called Twisted Pictures, which makes yeah. Saw uh, to create an online horror movie for us. Um, and then going down the spectrum, we've got a number of individual content creators, um, but some famous and some not, who we've done deals with uh, for original content. And all, that, all those guys essentially are producing content exclusively for Break and our audience. And what's, what's in it for them? There really is it, no better place if you're trying to reach men 15 to 35 to get your content featured than on our homepage. A video on the homepage for a day will get anywhere from 250,000 to 700,000 wow. streams. Um, and so a lot of these guys are looking at ways to launch series on multiple platforms. And so getting a product on, on our homepage 
um, guaranteed is, is a great way to do that. So what's the future for you guys? Uh, you know, our goal is to continue to evolve as a, a media channel for people trying to reach that audience. Mm -hmm. And we think we've done a really great job of understanding how to talk to them and understanding how to program for them. Mm -hmm. And so increasingly what we want to do is uh, do that, but do it across multiple platforms. So uh, you'll shortly see us um, doing more deals like we did. Uh, we actually have a deal with TiVo um, okay. where we distribute our content originally on TiVo. We have some amazing number of subscribers uh, who every week get break videos downloaded to them uh, through their TiVo. Hmm. And you'll see us doing a lot more multi-platform deals like that. So now comes a segment called None of Your Business. Okay. Where I ask you a few slightly impolite questions. That are none, you, that I'll just say would not disclose? Oh, <laughs> no, well, or you can say none of your business. Or you can actually answer. Got it, okay. All right, ready? Okay. How does one go from having an MA in international <laughs> policy studies to running a site with a certain jiggle factor to it? Yeah, I mean, my parents asked me that same question. <laughs> the same question they ask of where did all that tuition money go? <laughs> where did all that tuition money go? Um, you know, it's, it's ultimately about being, some of it being in the right place in the right time, and, and I think more importantly, knowing smart people to work with and, and having them help guide you. What's the most you've ever paid for a video? Oh gosh, we've paid as high as $10,000 for a video. Anything you'd like to promote while you're here? No, I mean, I think it, this has been great. This is, I, I personally, I, I love doing things like this because it, I think in the long term, um, more original web video content helps fuel the whole business. Keith Richmond, CEO of Break.com, thanks for being here. Thank you very much for having me. As always, feel free to post comments or if you'd like to suggest guests, email me, Tom Tapp, at tom at dogandpony.tv. See ya. Dog and pony, dog and pony. Dog and pony, dog and pony.